here is one implication of long wave. It's called wave refraction. So what you observe if you if you just go to a beach and look at the waves approaching the beach, what you often see are waves that approach the beach with the wave crests are actually almost parallel to the beach. You rarely see actually waves that which run along the beach face, along the beach. And there's a reason for it. And the reason is that all waves actually turn, all wind generated waves turn into long waves as they approach shallower water. Okay, because the wavelength is sort of given and so, but the water depth decreases. And this shows, uh, here's a little, little top view of a wave approaching the uh, uh, shore on the left. Okay, because you have the dispersion relation, which is shown here in the yellow uh, uh, block, what, you, what it implies is that the wavelength of the wave becomes shorter because total water depth decreases. You can see the H on the right hand side under the square root. The period stays the same, okay, but the wavelength shrinks as the water depth becomes smaller. And this implies for if you now follow the wave, these are the wave crests of the wave, and if you imagine that the wavelengths become shorter, it actually implies that the wave or the the orientation of the wave crest changes as the wave approaches the shore and turns parallel to the shore. This is what we call wave refraction. Okay. There is another feature associated with uh, this dispersion relation. And this is shown on the next slide. It's actually wave breaking. Wave breaking. It has some additional features. But if you think of a wave approaching shallower water, Okay, it's shown here in this in the sketch. You have uh, some effects. One effect is that the wave actually the amplitude increases and the wave becomes steeper, and so. But the key feature is that the wave speed under the wave crests is actually higher than under the wave trough, and this makes the wave overturning and breaking. So you have several features happening at the same time. So one, the wave length decreases, the wave piles up, and this is because of volume conservation, actually. But then you have a, the become steeper and the wave breaks. And this all takes place in the surf zone. Okay? And we call the surf zone is the region actually generally of water depth less than five meters. Okay? This is what we call the surf zone. All right.